Hey folks, Jodo Cast again, and this time around we're going to be having a look at the Death Trooper Blaster, another one of the Star Wars released blasters. Um, I was fortunate enough that my kids got me one of this one for a Christmas present, so I've had a bit of a play with it. It's um, it's not a bad little blaster actually. It's a little pump action uh, three dart blaster. It has a smart AR system um, and the, the glow darts, so it actually uh, it has lights and sound, so when you fire the trigger, you get your LED sequence up here and the sound. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then when you prime the blaster, your ultraviolet light comes on in the front there, which charges up your reflective dart, or your glow dart. And then when you fire your glow dart, it, uh, it glows quite well. Uh, let's see if we can down some of the lighting and you can actually see the effect. I'm going to charge up for a bit and I don't know if you can see that very well but yeah but it does glow so all right so it's the three darts that it holds it comes with the three glow darts um, and in standard formation it just comes as you see there uh, there is a deluxe kit which I believe will be available through Toys R Us which has a stock um, and I think a scope for it and what have you but they're, they're not accurate to what the uh, Death Troopers blaster was from the movie um, so they're neither here nor there um, what we're going to do with this one is we're going to have a quick look at the internals um, and see if we can't do any uh, basic internal mods um, it shoots pretty well as it is like it's uh, probably elite sort of specs. Uh, I haven't chronied it because I haven't got my chrony available at the moment, but um, but it gets like pretty good ranges and what have you. So um, you know, I'm, I'm quite impressed with it as it is. But um, just thought uh, might be worth uh, just opening it up, seeing if we can't do a mod to it. You know, it might just um, be the usual. There might be a uh, an ear release hole in the uh, in the smart AR system that we can plug improve the uh, seal on the plunger um, head o-ring and maybe maybe even beef up the spring a bit just to give it a little bit more poke um, and then we're going to do some cosmetic mods to it to make it look a little bit more like the um, like the one from uh, that, that's in the movie so um, stay tuned yeah of course you know being Jodocast it's what I do um, I've uh, designed and 3d printed a few parts for it um, uh, to, to, for, for augmenting the, uh, the, the the look of it to give it a more realistic uh, look to make it look more like the original screen used um, so uh, yeah stick with us and um, we'll uh, show you those as we uh, as we move along and uh, as we get it to uh, we'll do the performance side of it first and then we'll have a look and see about doing the the cosmetics all right first things first we've got to open up this shell so and undo all those screws here. Alright, so once you've done done the uh, most of the screws around the blaster, you've also got two in the back here. And then we've got these two in the pump grip here. Terminals are actually on the opposite side of the blaster this time around, so which is pretty damn unique. So let's, I think we're going to get this 
front orange piece off. Two-sided blaster. This one. It's two halves to join together. Okay. It could be this. Oops, there. Okay. Pop that out. Okay. All right. So that side of the blaster comes apart. With the majority of the internal good bits on this side. So let's see if we can't get everything back into place where it's supposed to be. That's the lock to stop you from um, depressing the little switch. If the uh, if the prime is pulled back at all, then you can't fire the little trigger normally. That locks it. So we don't really need that piece. Um, this is obviously a trigger catch here. Different. It's for the prime, so right, let's see if we can lift this section here out. We can. Alright, so let's see if we can actually remove. Okay. So what's this little switch for? Oh, okay. So that becomes depressed. When you prime the, the blaster, it turns on your UV charge lights, which oh look, there's six LEDs, three positions, two in each, um, to charge up the uh, the infrared. Oh, sorry, the ultraviolets of the LEDs. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, right, this little lock here. See if I'm going to see if I can get this off. Okay. okay, so we're priming assembly off, and there's a, a rear piece for the plunger assembly. Just some of glue together. Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay. All around it. So well, let's pull that plunger tube out. That's our plunger, oh, sorry, plunger rod and spring. So I'm pretty, pretty confident we can find a beef up for that. Um, looks like it's one piece, so that's not going to want to come apart. Uh, I think it's all been sold and all together. So I don't think we're going to have a joy getting anything high. So, in which case what we might do is just literally just manoeuvre these little circuit boards out of the holders so that we can actually get it free of the blaster and at least we can do some work on it. So, yeah. Similar setup to the air restrictors in a Maverick or what have you. So that can just clip back into place because we're not going to be able to get any of this apart. Um, pretty damn good seal on it all. Um, so realistically, there's just these little air holes. There's one, two, 
There's two small ones and one larger one. So I've got a suspicion that that's set up to try and balance the pressure between them. So you don't get one shooting obviously harder than the others. But um, that's just stupid. Who cares if one shoots harder than the other? We want them all to shoot as hard as they possibly can. So what we're going to do is um, uh, I think they're going to be too difficult to sort of get any sort of epoxy or glue into. So we're just going to actually tape them. So we'll put some some duct tape over those. So realistically, that's about all we can do with the um, with that pin piece there. Um, okay, so it just locks into place. That's right, spectacular. We'll have, a, we'll have a play with that in a minute. Um, that's in the that's to go around the outside there. That's, This piece is going to be well, real easy to paint. The other side, um, not as much, although being able to remove this definitely helps. Um, so what we can do is actually tape up the clear end piece. so that it doesn't get pain when you're painting through the body. Um, wouldn't mind if that orange piece actually ended up black because you can actually see that through the shell. So, same with this piece back here. So we might actually paint that assembly black. So, um, while we wait for the paint to dry on those other bits, um, you can probably give that a coat of paint at the same time. section. So again we'll use a bit of tape. so that it doesn't interfere with the, the action of the mechanism. So it still, should still slide nicely within the, the actual body and what have you, but it just gives, it'll give us that black trigger, so you know, this hideously ugly trigger hanging out. Uh, everything else will be pretty well hidden. Um, that will need a coat of paint. Done also. This can be done. That. That we think will get end up getting done in silver. So we might. We might actually 
Now I'll let me get out of the bag and show, show you some of the uh, some of the work that I've already done in preparation for this. I've designed and 3D printed a number of parts, including a barrel extension, tip extension. Now this will locate onto here. Um, as you can see, it's exactly the right diameter fit on there. There's an insert to fit in there perfectly, and even a little cutout on the side, so it actually literally locates into this piece perfectly. So, um, designed for the purpose. Um, so what I might do is actually work out just exactly which way this sits. It sits in here. So I can... that way so which puts your barrel, barrel, barrel at the bottom so that will sit in there that way okay so I'm going to glue these two pieces together and then um, give it a coat of silver paint so pop out and put these other items on the, uh, the spray painting block or uh, give this a coat as well and we'll be back momentarily now we're going to improve the seal on the o-ring slightly um, not sure how much improvement it actually needs so uh, take a short section of tape Basically, you just cut it into a thin strip. And then what we do is we plunge your head and just gently lift off our O ring. Give the underside where the O ring is sitting a bit of a clean on the dry bag. Clean dry rag and just lift up one end. Stick that in there. So this is, that's just a couple of laps now, it's not a great deal but when you sort of consider that it's on both sides, um, well actually you know as in all the way around, it sort of just pushes the o-ring out just that little bit more uh, and gives it just that slightly better seal on the end. On the inside of your, um, of your barrel chute there. All right, now this spring is the other thing. Let's, uh, let's wind the spring off. Okay, let's see if we can't find something similar to a bit beefier. 
uh, coat of the box of springs. Strong arm, fire strike, rough cut. Looking much better for the spring. an orange mod works, 7 kilo um, rough cut fire strike strong arm spring. So it's a bit stronger than the original. Now we could nest the two together, we could try that. Um, let's see if the two are going to nest. Very similar, so they might be they might be too similar to actually nest together properly. You know what? I'm not even going to attempt it. I'm going to um, just replace it with the heavy spring, and we'll be done with that. I think you start getting too greedy. As I said, this is you know also about the cosmetics, not just uh, the performance. So hopefully we'll be able to improve the performance a little bit, um, but primarily um, the cosmetics. Are the uh, are the main main aim of the game. <laughs> so, all right now, everything looks like it's going to stay put in here for us. So what we're going to do is um, lift out this LED display here. And we're going to tape that up. Make sure we don't get any paint on in or around that.
fiddly. Especially when they've got big sausage fingers. sandpaper and then um, we'll go and give it a coat of paint and we'll come back with it once it's been painted and, um, and we'll go about the reassembly and whatever and see how we go with it then. Now we've got all the parts painted up. Let's have a look at going about some reassembly. assembly um, the barrels um, the little holes have been blocked off um, we've got the stronger spring and everything in there so that can locate into the plunger tube there now there is a back door piece to go on there now there's a question which way does that fit in have to go back and have a look at the video and decide how this all went back to how, how all this went together. Well, these are going to go into place first. Uh, um, First mistake was that uh, I put the first LED board in upside down. So that'll make life hard for everything. Okay, 
so it goes this way. That's the bottom, so that's the closest one. So that will go in there like that. So we'll come around that will go in there. Like such. And this one will come around and go in there. Assembly will set into place. feeling this is all going to have to be put into place simultaneously or it's not going to work very well. Now, the majority of the accessories go on this side here, so so one of the accessories that makes it onto this side is a Helsing counter, otherwise seen on the E11 blaster, which I happen to design up uh, to scale and 3D print one to go onto here. So what I need to do is basically just pop a screw through and screw that into place on here. 
it's a bit of a greebly type thing so need to work out where the hole needs to be which will be so much down there it's going to be right through that so um, we'll get a small drill bit and we'll drill a hole and we'll find a small screw to pop through there to screw that into place Insert, isn't it? So okay, so we get that place. We'll mark the back of the counter so that we can drill a matching hole. Okay, so it needs to be a little bit heavier through than that. This looks like it'll do the job. on this is there's like a little torch type greebly that sits up on this side here so I've, I've printed 3d printed one of those as well so we'll, um, we'll screw that into position on this side as well that sits just in front of that straight along the, the two sides so Okay, so, move this up, move that, move that there, just 
slightly. Screw through. Well, it's going to be trickier than I thought. I've sort of jumped ahead, assembled the blaster, um, got all the halves back together properly and they're actually sitting the way they should. Gave it a quick test prime to make sure it's priming okay and the trigger's catching and what have you and it all is. Um, I've quickly just put the stock on, I've put the muzzle extension piece on as you can see there. Um, and yeah, like we're three quarters of the way done. Um, everything's in place. We just need to do a little bit uh, of dry brushing and painting in some details, <laughs> and um, should be uh, should be all well, done. So um, I'll leave the video here for now. We'll um, go about uh, getting some of the bits and pieces ready so that we can do some of the finishing touches, do the uh, inlaying some of the red uh, highlights and what have you. Um, do a little bit of dry brushing and we're going to do the uh, burnt barrel effect on the uh, on the barrel there with the airbrush get a couple of uh, like a blue or purple in there and whatever to give it that sort of heat seared look um, to the barrel tip as well and um, so I'll get all the bits and pieces together and then we'll come back and I'll show you that process so with some paint effects and what have you we've got the whole thing together and we've done some dry brushing um, done some uh, wash effects on the barrel to make it look like it's a, like a heat burn type effect putting some of the white lines and the red details to the accenting and on the other side there's a few little red details and white lines so there we go, so there's the, uh, the blaster finished and just give you a quick firing demo as well, so yeah, so it's hitting pretty hard so there you go, there's my completed Death Trooper mod hope you liked it, thanks for watching please subscribe and feel free to share Cheese.